What up, what up, Wimblish here. And I'm excited about this one because now we can bring in custom characters into Unreal Engine 5 with the third person template courtesy of Character Creator 5. Now in this tutorial, I'm gonna walk through it two different times. The first time is gonna show you how we can take the Character Creator characters, bring them into Unreal Engine 5 and swap out the third person template using that character. And then in the second half of this tutorial, I'll show you how you can take your own custom characters, rig them up with AccuRig, bring them into Character Creator, and then export them out to be ready to be as your own playable character inside your video game. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So to get started, this is Character Creator 5, which was just released. And so over here, I'm going to come down here to this character, Mila. I'm just going to bring her into my scene. And she's just one of the default characters that comes with Character Creator 5. So you can see now we have Mila in here. So what her selected, I'm going to come up here to File. And I'm going to come down here to Export. And then I'm going to export out in FBX. Now I'm going to click on Clothes Character because she does have clothes on. So I'm going to click on this. And now we're gonna have this menu pop up. This is export FBX. Now under target tool preset, it's gonna be on Maya by default. I'm gonna left click on this, but if I move down, you can see that we have two different Unreal Engine skeletons. We have UE4 and we have UE5, in which we wanna use UE5. And then right here under mesh options, I'm gonna click on mesh. And for my texture size, I'm gonna make this 4K. And then down here under other, where it says delete hidden faces, I'm gonna click this on to delete any hidden faces. Now, if I come up to this gearbox up here, left click on this, this is gonna open up a few more menus for you just to make sure that you have everything that you want. So we wanna make sure we have the UE5 skeleton selected here. If I scroll down here, you can see under normal, we wanna make sure we have Unreal selected here. And then we're gonna be using the A pose for UE5. Now this should all be on by default, but if you just want to double check, you just click on this button right here and that's gonna open up that extra menu for you. Now with everything set up, all we do is come down here to export and you're gonna pop up with this menu right here telling you that once you export it out, it is what it is. But what I'm gonna do is click on more right here for more information. And the reason I clicked on more is because that's gonna bring us to the website that will allow us to download the plugin because you will need the Revolution plugin to properly import your character from Character Creator 5. So once you see this, you just wanna click on free download and then you wanna make sure you're downloading for your version, which I'm using 5.6. So you just download here. And once you download that executable file, just double click on it, follow the instructions and you should be good from there. But now let's open up Unreal Engine 5.6 to properly set up our template. So I'm using Unreal Engine 5.6, but you can go back to Unreal Engine 5.4 if that's what you're using. But right here, it says Unreal Engine Project Browser. I'm under game, I'm gonna click on third person. And over here on the right hand side, we now have this option for variant. So if you want to make like a platformer or a side scroller, actually let's click on side scroller. We're just gonna make a fun platformer later on. But down here under my project name, I'm just gonna name this one tutorial. Save it to my desktop and click create. But feel free to use any third person template you want because the process is gonna be the same. So with Unreal Engine opened up, we're not gonna import our FBX yet. We need to install our plugin. So I'll walk you through this just in case your window didn't open up. So I have my Windows Explorer open. So I'm gonna come over here to file programs or program files. And then I'm gonna look for my Real Illusion folder, which is right here. And once I'm inside of my Real Illusion folder, we're gonna look for shared plugins, which is right here. Go to auto setup, Unreal. And now this is going to give you the different versions that you have the plugin for. Like I said, I'm using 5.6, so I'm going to double click on this. And now this is going to give you two different folders that you need to put inside your project that you just created. So I'm going to swing this over here because this is the project file that I just created. It's called tutorial. So what I'm going to do is take these two folders right here. I'm going to hold down the control key, left click, and I'm just going to make a copy of it inside of here. And that's as easy as that. That's all you had to do to drag in your plugins there. So now I can close both of these out. And you notice we don't have the Revolution plugin up here and that's because we have to restart. So I'm gonna close this down and open it back up. Okay, so now with it restarted, you should see this icon right here, which would be a Revolution icon. So if you do see that, that means you install the plugin correctly. So down here in my content browser, I'm just gonna make a new folder and I'm just gonna call this one Mila for our character. And I'm gonna double click on it and then I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna come up here to the top where it says import to current folder. Now I'm gonna look for my FBX file, which I have right here. It's called Mila.FBX. Don't worry, we'll get to Spider-Man later. I'm gonna click on open and that's gonna pop up with this menu right here. So I'm gonna go to HQ shaders down here, but feel free to use any one of these that you want. I'm gonna click on okay. And then after a few moments, you should pop up with this folder. This is FBX import options. Now I'm not gonna select anything in here. I'm just gonna come down here and click on import all. Now on this part, you're gonna see a lot of menus popping up. Just make sure you leave it alone, let everything properly import, and you should only take a few moments. Okay, so now with everything imported, we're gonna come down here and we're just gonna save all, cause it's always a good idea to save everything. And then down here, we should see a folder that says third person. Now, if we scroll this down, 
and go under Blueprints. We have this Blueprint class called Third Person Character. I'm gonna double click to open this up. Now over here on the right hand side, you should see this little component that says Mesh and you'll have the default character whenever you use a third person template. Now there's two ways you can import it. We could click on it right here and then you could just search for Mila or you could find her right here. Or if you wanted to do it from the content browser, we could open up our content browser Look for the one that has the pink underscore on it. Just left click, drag it into there. And now it's gonna swap everything out for Mila in here. Now I'm gonna come up here to hit compile and then I'm gonna save it out. And then I'm just gonna close this menu. So as you can see, I just plugged in my Xbox controller and now we're ready to rock. So I'm gonna come up here, hit the play button. And now you can see we have our character inside of our scene. So I'm using the Xbox controller. Everything is pre-mapped, at least for the jumping and the moving around with your directional pad. So I can hit this for the camera. You can see her running if I'm holding the left thumbstick down. And this is just ready to go. So this is a good template to get started. And you know Mila, she was a default character creator character, but let's say you created your own character, maybe in like Blender or Cinema 4D, and you wanted to rig it up to do the same exact thing. Let me show you exactly how we could do that. So I'm gonna hit escape on my keyboard. And I'm gonna minimize this for now because we're gonna use the same project. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna open up AccuRig 2.0. Now, if you're not familiar with AccuRig, it's a free auto rigging program that you can get from Real Illusion. This is built inside of Character Creator 5, but I prefer to use the standalone method just because I find it to be just a tad bit easier. So with it opened up right now, we could drop in an FBX or an OBJ. And I just happen to have an OBJ of Spider-Man, the black suit Spider-Man from Marvel Rivals. I'm gonna left click and drag that into here. And now you can see we have a Spider-Man character in here. Now, if we come down here to the bottom right where it says rig body, I'm just gonna rig it right here. And now it's gonna show you where all the joints are. We're just gonna leave everything at default because everything looks like it's set up pretty well here. So now I'm gonna come back down here to the bottom right where it says rig right hand. And we know that our character has five fingers, but you could do up to zero, two, three, four, five, depending on what your character is. I'm gonna click on five and click on next. And it usually does a pretty good job with rigged and fingers, as long as everything is in a nice pose like we have here. So now with it rigged up, you can go in here and you can adjust it if you need. Everything looks pretty good to me. So I'm gonna come back down here to rig the left hand. Same thing, everything still looks good to me here. So I'm just gonna click on calibrate. It just give the program a few minutes to weight skin everything. But once it's done, you're gonna be surprised at how accurate it's actually gonna rig this character. And there we are. Now we got Spider-Man, he's just moving around. He's breathing in here. You can see that the skeletal rig looks like it rigged up pretty good. If we come over here to hand, where it says preview motion, I like to click on this just to make sure the fingers are rigged up everything really nice and yeah, it looks like it did a pretty good job there. So the next step from here, down in the bottom right hand corner where it says save eye avatar, we're gonna left click on this because this is going to allow us to save out our Spider-Man character. So right here, a black suit Spider-Man, I'm just gonna click on save and it's as easy as that. So let's go back into character creator five and I'm just gonna open up that project. So I'm gonna come up here to file, come down here to open project. Then I'm gonna look for a black suited Spider-Man, which is right here, I'm gonna click on open. And after a few moments, now we have our Spider-Man character inside a character creator. So same method as before, we're just gonna save this out as an FBX. So I'm gonna come up here to file, come down here to export, and I'm gonna save out the FBX. Now I'm just gonna click on selected because we don't have any type of props or clothes on this character. It's just all one mesh. So I'm gonna click on selected, make sure I have my UE5 skeleton. I have it at mesh. I'm gonna do 4K textures. I wanna delete head and faces, and that's gonna be basically it. So now I'm gonna come down here to export. This is gonna pop up again. I'm gonna click on okay this time because I already have the plugin that I need. And I'm just gonna type in black Spider-Man for my character to save out as an FBX, click on save. And now we could go back into Unreal Engine 5 once this is saved out. So back in Unreal Engine 5.6, I'm gonna right click and I'm just gonna make another folder. I'm gonna call this one Spider-Man. I'm gonna double click on this. And then this time the import, I'm just gonna take that FBX file that I just created, left click, drag it into my content browser. And this time I'm just gonna do standard shader, but feel free to pick any of them that you want. And then after a few moments, this is gonna open up again. We're just gonna click on import all. So now with our Spider-Man character in here, before we go and add this to a third person, let's come down here to where it says variant side scroller, cause we can open up a different level, right? I'm gonna double click on this level, but now we're a third person template open under the variant file where it says blueprint. You wanna come in here and you wanna switch it out for this one. So where it says blueprint side scrolling character, double click on this. And I'm gonna do the same thing as before. I'm gonna come over to Spider-Man, look for the one that says skeletal mesh. It has the pink on it. I'm gonna left click, drag it under the mesh, I'm gonna click on Kapow, click on save, and now I'm gonna click on play. And you can see we have our Spider-Man character in here. 
So of course you can do keyboard and mouse. I like using my Xbox controller, but let me play through this. You see, we have double jump already set up for it. We have Spider-Man Black in here. I mean, this is pretty dope. Oh, was that like a wall jump? Yeah, so we got the wall jump bouncing off the wall there. Kind of like Shinobi, right? If y'all played that new Shinobi, which is dope, highly suggested. But you can see how easily we can add our custom characters into our game using Character Creator 5. So I want to give a big shout out to John Martin. He's been my person over at Real Illusion that's listened to me, listened to all my battle cries, and he was one of the people that made this happen. So I'm going to be actually doing a lot more Character Creator tutorials because they did add the Skeletal Mesh for UEFN if anybody out there is making Fortnite levels. So make sure you check for that tutorial coming soon. And until next time, stay free fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you in the next video. I'll see you soon. Take care.